the spiritual path generally speaking involves a seeker and something self then we look we seek till we find something and end up realizing that what it is we're finding is temporary until we look within inquire inquire into the nature of who we are even then we are looking for something inside as if there was a seeker and an object of seeking inside till we find out that the uh, who it is that is seeking and what it is that we are seeking is what we are as we are that which within seeks itself for itself within itself till the truth of oneself as that which we are looking for reveals itself as that which has always been and will always be as that which knows the seeker and the object self now this is not the question of time and space now for sure before you somehow establish yourself in the truth of yourself there is indeed a certain time involved and in that but the question is more about uh, knowing who you are now in order to make the steps towards the full embodiment of that in time so it's a less of a question of thinking in terms of time as to whether you find out for yourself here and now whether you abide as yourself as you really are as that which knows yourself that is what makes the difference for what uh, brings about the possibility of embodiment is grace alone nothing a, an individual can really do in that regard the individual cannot seek grace although it can look at itself and empty itself of everything it is not then and only then may grace fill your being only then may life as a whole flow through therefore allowing an embodiment of this wholeness to take place in your experience and it is something that can be somehow experienced in the moment now of course uh, even if you experience it in the moment it doesn't mean it's gonna last because of the habits of being full by the mind by the habit of taking this mind body as oneself along with all its stories its propensities, conditioning, its fears, insecurities, attachments, anxieties, and so on. So until this is all burned within your ability to bring awareness in your daily living, you will be led 
by your latent tendencies, making, making it hard for bliss to take you over. And yet, it is not that uh, you need to, uh, to worry about this. It is not like you need to be concerned about that at all. Again, what is essential is that you know yourself as you truly are, one moment at a time. For in order to walk somewhere, you must make one step at a time. Similarly, to know yourself, you must abide as yourself, moment by moment. Then you are moving somewhere. Then you are allowing the possibility for grace to take you over, all the while purifying yourself of all false identities, of all patterns of mind, in order to remain free, in such freedom that there remains only the act of grace alone. 